Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's D7 here at Grok Trades. The weekend edition. Good through Sunday, March 24th, 2019. It's a Saturday morning here in Indianapolis. And there's still frost <laughs> all over the ground. And we're knocking at the door of April. So anyway. Mm. So let's do this together. Markets and big time negative territory. Oh, we are all day on Friday. Down, down, down. Small caps down 3.6%. Huge. Nasdaq down 2.2%. Huge. Big drops, guys, in the major indices. Crude oil down 1.7%. Silver down. Gold higher. VIX spiking higher by 21%. We're now at 16.5. Bitcoin still hovering below 4,000. Oh, you got a lot to look at here. S&P chart. Called it a sell. Man, on Thursday we popped up. And Friday we come right back down. What I want you to pay attention to is the huge volume on the sell side on Friday. This is problem. Problem city, guys. Problem city. Watch. I'm going to build a pretty good case for you guys here. Let's look at the weekly. And this is the weekly. And on the spider. Up, 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 up. Called it a sell. Last week put a buy on it because we started going higher again. But but we started to go up and we sold into it. This looks very toppy to me. And I'm getting ready to put a sell on this again if you look here at the MACD we got a negative histogram tick we do have a crossover we are heading down on the centered oscillator um, if you go to let's go to the diamonds looks very similar a little different I'm going to show you something here whoops 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 okay this is the Dow 30 this is just a bull flag we go up 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 we go down up down this is just a bull flag do you see this there's flagpole there's the waving flag it, some people might call it a double top I could argue that maybe but as long as we stay above the 200 day moving average the rising 50 day it's that red one uh, but it was a big sell-off, big volume on a Friday. If we look over here at the weekly chart, we have this trend line. Um, actually, that's a trend line that I don't. I don't know. I mean, I kind of. It's kind of there. Um, if you've taken my tr trend line class, you, you, you'll you'll know why I'm. Uh, not overly confident on this trend line but it's holding up there pretty well you can see the gap down bop popped up there but we go up 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 as long as we stayed above this line they put a sell on it but if we break down below that absolutely a sell on the dow 30 weekly chart again that's the weekly chart and if you look here at the nasdaq here's the daily chart okay and i'm using trading a view this is my charts trading view trading view i have a link down in the description feel free to click on that use it i used to use e-signal e-signal i was i uh, i was paying 225 dollars 225 dollars per month for that data feed and in that platform and then lo and behold trading view came out and he, has given me everything that I needed for my trading, for day trading and swing trading, uh, plus some. So uh, anyway, I use TradingView now. Uh, you can get the premium package for like 69 bucks a month, which is unbelievable for this level of uh, charting. You just it, you just can't believe. Yeah, anyway, I'm not here pimping them. Let's get going here. NASDAQ. Um, NASDAQ daily chart. So here's the deal. Put a sell on it on that doji up, up, up. But I couldn't put a buy on it because it's just too extended. But we're starting to drop here on major, major volume. The question is, will this trend line hold? I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to break down. Why? Because well, of the trend line I'm getting ready to show you. If you draw this trend line coming across here, you have now what's called a rising wedge. We were in an uptrend, two blue lines, two blue lines parallel going up. That's an uptrend all as well. But now when you get a red line coming up, a blue line coming up, it doesn't matter what color they are, two lines coming up, converging onto each other, that is a rising wedge and that is bearish. 
That is bearish. Is this rude that I'm drinking coffee while I'm talking to you guys? I just feel like it's a Saturday morning chat with some friends. Is that okay? <laughs> oh, I like my I like my coffee black and bitter. I used to be the one that put the make it blonde and sweet, but those days are I, I just don't like to ruin the coffee. I just don't like to ruin it. But we dropped here, guys. On the Nasdaq big volume i think we're going to break down i think we're going to drop i think this is warning season this is warning time this is it let's look at the weekly and see what it shows us a weekly so here i put a sell on it it popped up i did put a buy on it for the life of me i don't know why i put a buy on that but i did it did pop up but look at that that is called a shooting star at the top. Uh, that, that, that's get, that gets a big fat sell signal right there on the weekly. And look at this coming across. See that? Perfect. Resistance, resistance, right there at resistance. Of course that is a sell. So the weekly just got a sell put on it. Just got a sell put on it. Let's go here to the small caps. Small caps is a big deal. Um, this is something that I watch. Let's not go to the weekly yet. Uh, we're there already. But look at this daily, guys. Put a sell on it on what day? March 19th. Down, 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 down. Oh, nasty drop, guys. It's still a bull flag, though. See this flag pull waving? I mean, to be quite frank, guys, if this doesn't go below uh, this is rough anyway I mean we have a buy opportunity at 146 on the Russell we have another buy opportunity at 142 but if we drop below this 138 area it's just toast 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 city but if this is a I mean this bull flag Long, it could stay intact here, but I just, and that will give us a great buying opportunity if this bull flag stays intact. But I don't like this major sell-off, major volume. <clears throat> In this consolidation, volume should have been drying up. We're not seeing that. So I'm not putting too much trust or confidence in the bull flags. Mm -mm. Just not doing it. If we go over here to the weekly chart, Check this out. I had a sell on it on February 25th, and we've been just selling off. Selling off, and it's... You'll notice how I draw, draw my trend lines here. Those are spot on, okay? Spot on. They look wrong, but it's a, trend lines are a science, not an art. You have to learn to draw them correctly. You have to draw them correctly. And there is a rhyme or reason how to do that. And if you draw them correctly, you'll you'll nail things. Okay, I'm going to show you now the financials. The financials are something that's very important to us. And financials have been falling out of bed. This is problematic. We put a sell on it on what day? The 19th, and and it broke on the 20th. This was a significant drop. Significant. And then we just keep going down on major volume. That's bad news, bad news, bad news. Bad news for uh, the markets when the financials are in trouble. You go here to the weekly chart, and it gets a sell. Uh, and you'll notice I put buy and sells. Um, and I, somebody said, hey, you know what? Uh, they they called my arrows into question, and it's fine. That happens from time to time. Um, I put my arrows on when I'm doing my videos. You see them in real time when I'm doing my videos, when, and when I'm putting an arrow on, I put it on. You guys see that, and it's there forever. But I do that on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't do videos on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I didn't used to show you my arrows or my lines. I only would share, show you guys a sanitized, very scrubbed, clean chart and just talk about that. 
got lazy switching back and forth, showed my chart a couple times, people liked it, so now I just show you my personal charts. These are the charts that I use. Uh, so you see all my indicators, oscillators, you see my lines, you see it all. You see all my arrows, so. Um, and my good calls and bad, right? So a lot of people think that I'm rigging this and showing good calls. I mean, let me just show you one. Here I put a buy and look at this sell. <laughs> Is that a good call? That's a horrible call. So, uh, but again, these are not my personal buys and ent and that, well, they may or may not be my personal <laughs> buys and sells. Okay, what I mean by that is just what um, these arrows are what I expect to happen next on a very short term micro level. What I expect to happen next, which might be going higher or lower. When I trade and what we teach is far more savvy, more detailed, uh, more involved, and a little more laborious, if you will. Meaning we're looking at fundamental analysis. We're looking at technical analysis on the individual chart pattern itself far, as far as price action is concerned. We're also looking at volume and those volume indications. We're looking at indicators and oscillators and how they support or don't support along with economic analysis and uh, psychological analysis of both the broad markets and the individual trader ourselves. Okay, there's a lot there, right? There, so there's a multiple things that we look at to become um, savvy traders, to become professional traders, and to trade with odds significantly in our favor. These basic elementary arrows up and down simply are elementary. You know, that's, that's it. Don't use them to trade by, okay? Do not use them to trade by. Yeah, but you see, like, they're... Uh, they're amazing. The, these arrows are not amazing in consolidations. <laughs> so, all right, let's keep going. I am going. So, uh, so that's that. Okay. All right. So, quickly look at the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar got a buy on it. Ooh, do I want to buy on that? Whoops, that's the weekly. I thought that it was a jab, and it come right back down. That is, this is interesting. And it's happening because of all the moving average consolidating together here. Um, US dollar, that's interesting. I'm gonna stay with my buy, but I don't like what I'm seeing on the US dollar. Let me see what uh, what's going on here on the weekly on the US dollar. I had a sell on it and it's under moving averages. I'll, I'm good with my sell on that. I'm good with my sell. If I go here to, um, Crude oil, whoa, check this out, guys. Crude oil, I got a buy on it, but we're, we all, we busted on Friday, the trend line, but we came right back up, so that could be a buy opportunity. Um, ba, 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 that is very, very interesting. If I draw my trend line here, we have a rising wedge. If I look here at my MACD, uh, yeah, it, it's looking big time, this, I, oh boy, do I want to sell this? We're in at 1170, out at 12. Do I want to sell it so soon? I'm going to go ahead and put a sell on that. It could still, it could still go higher here. I don't like a number of things. I think it's a rising wedge, and I think it's going to break down. I think it's going to break down. Let me see what the weekly is showing me. And oh, of course, let's sell this, guys. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we're in on the sell, and this is the trend line. This is a perfect example of the trend line. Draw them right, and you, like I put, all I saw was this, and I put a buy on it because we were at this trend line, and it was extended drop to the downside. So I had a sell here at this trend line, see this, and then it pops up, 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 up. Now we have a doji after an extended run. So we're in on that at $9.76 out at 12, whatever that percentage is. Okay, so we're gonna sell that. I'm pretty good with that. And if you look here at the monthly chart, check this out. Down, this is a bear pullback. Guys, this is a perfect area to be looking for short. Can't do it yet. It's, <clears throat> it's too early to put a short on that, on, on the monthly chart. Uh -huh on a monthly chart. And this little dude is a, um, it's called a low ball, low ball, um, I don't even know the brand name.
but they're, it's double layered and it has gas in between it. It keeps your coffee like hot all day long. It's shocking. I do not use, and we even have for our, like our mentor students that come through, I send them out a coffee cup that has the Grok logo on it and everything. It's, they're super cool. I love my Grok cups. Um, but they don't hold heat like these dudes do. Uh, okay, silver, silver, down, down, down to bear flag. So this is a good chance to be looking to sell silver. I'm going to go ahead and put a sell on silver. And let me see what's happening here on the weekly. I got a sell on it already, and I'm good with that sell. I'm good with that sell. The monthly, I already have a sell on it, and it is dropping. That's silver. Silver. So I'm not interested in silver. Let's go see what's going on in gold. Gold, gold, gold going up. I just have the sneaky suspicion we're going to drop. <clears throat> Bear pullback. Matter of fact, let me see something here. If I were to draw... Pull a fib. I mean, it's right at the 50. See this? Right at the 50. That's a perfect area to be looking for shorts. So, yeah, it's cool. Very, very cool. All right. Um, not at all. In, whoa, check this out. I got a buy here bouncing. And we're going higher on the weekly, so I can't put a sell on that yet. And if you look here on the monthly put a sell on it but we tr we did sell off so far this month but we rallied right back that's interesting we have one more week so let's see if we sell off if this would be a brutal week for uh, commodities especially precious metals that will be very interesting to see the macd you look here histograms ticking lower lower, lower. it means the macd line hit and the signal line are getting closer and closer closer together the measure of the histogram line is the measure between the two lines and when the lines get really close you get a really close little histogram once you get a crossover you get a negative tick once you get a negative tick you, you get a crossover and you start to drop so that's what we're looking at that's what we're looking at <clears throat> that's what we're looking at so let's go back over here take a look at the VIX this is the week or monthly chart on the VIX monthly months not over yet so nothing I can do on that but I do want to look at the daily. Oh, yes, I already had a buy on that. So I had to buy back here on the 19th. We got bam or boom or whatever right up. And we stopped at the 200-day moving average right there. Big, big, big spike on Friday. If you go over here to the weekly, let's see what's going on. Weekly up. Oh, we have a down 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 we pa oh boy weekly gets a buy signal for the vix fear that's that's bad buying the fear on the weekly that's bad 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 and just a quick gander at bitcoin uh, i've been trading this quite a bit and growing my bitcoin account we're at this support line, support, support, support. I'm looking for this apex to do a breakout. If it does, I'll be looking to re-enter. So I've sold it. I'm waiting for something to pop here because it could go either direction. I don't know, and I do not put my money at risk when I'm uncertain. I need to have odds significantly in my favor. Significantly in my favor. I'm going to go the spider, show you something on the weekly or the monthly that should trouble everybody. Here's the deal. We go up, down, up. This every chart or every bar is one month. Okay, it's a monthly chart. Up, 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 up. So this is 2017. Up, 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 up. A pullback here beginning at 2018. We go up, 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 up. A pullback. Nasty one in the this past fall. And now, you know, in the winter, we're starting to go up. But, but do you see how we're coming up? We're rolling over for you guys that take have been in my trend line class. You know what the rolling over means. That or the mentors yet the rolling over and we get a spinning top <clears throat> at the high. So the chances of that reversing and dropping very very good, very good at dropping. If it does, you'll have what's called a shoulder head and shoulder. It's a head and shoulder trend reversal pattern on the monthly chart that will be damning for the markets that would be bad news and we'll be there in our head <laughs> we got a hedging class that teaches how to make a lot of money in a bear market markets drop 66 percent faster than they rise and there's a lot of money to be made there 
So that looks pretty dangerous. <clears throat> Man, do I want to put a sell on that? So we're in here. If I sell it, we'll take a profit. I'm going to go ahead and sell it on the weekly. I'm a little early on the sell, but everything's lining up for that. So I'm good with that sell. Let me see. Wait, is that a... That's a monthly. I can't do the monthly yet. The month's not over with. Month's not over with. So I, I'm too early. Can't do that. It's That's still a dynamic candlestick. Okay, I'm going to do something. <clears throat> the video's long, but I'm going to give you guys some stocks to look at. You guys can jet. Get out of here. If, you, if you're done with this and you don't want to look at stocks, that's cool. I'm going to go to, uh, let's go to Dow 30. Start with Apple City. Apple City. Wow. So here's the trend line. That gets a sell. Yeah, for you guys that uh, are critical on my arrows, there's not very many of you, but those who are, I get it, I understand. Only pay attention to the ones you see me put on. Ignore the rest of them. I think that's fair. So, um, let's put a sell on Apple. AXP, got a sell on it at the trend line dropping. BA. We've got a sell and it's dropping. We've got a sell Caterpillar Cisco. Yeah, so we're short on all these. So this one's at a trend line. But um it touched it perfect and bounced. I'm not ready. Yeah, so we'll stay with our sell. Disney sale, but that looks like a buy to me. Like it, like we should be getting ready to go higher. But I'm not going to do it too early. And here's Dow Dupont. Oh, I have a buy on it, but now it's got to be a sell. It broke a trend line, guys. <clears throat> so here we're in at 54. So there was see and sold it at 50 below 54. So that is a bad call. We got GE sold. Um, Goldman Sachs, a sell and on big volume and dropping. Guys, let that be a wake-up call. Home Depot's up, up, up. But it's going to get a sell, too, because of the shooting star. I had an extended run, and we didn't even make that high. We went up and touched that high. People sold right into it. IBM. I'll stay with my long um, call. Um, INTC. Got a sell on it. It blew up on my face on Thursday, but then settled down. Uh, Johnson and Johnson got a sell. Uh, that could be a buy soon, guys. Watch Johnson Johnson and Johnson, JP Morgan. Whoa. Another bank guy selling off, guys. L that's a huge alarm. A huge alarm. Got a sell on it. We're gonna put a buy on Coca Cola. I cannot believe I'm putting a buy in this horrible market, but there it is. McDonald's up, 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 and that one's going to get a sell. Um, Triple M, I got to buy. That has to be now a sell. So we're in there at 200, out at 204. Merck. <clears throat> oh, boy. Merck, I'm just going to sell. Let's take our profit. So we're in at 80, almost 81, out of 82. These big blue chip stocks don't make you a lot of money. I don't like trading them. Microsoft got a sell. It's fine. Wow, Nike. Earnings, horrible. Um, PFE, I got a buy, but now it gets a sell. PG, rising wedge, it broke down, but it came right back up. Procter & Gamble, I can't sell it yet. That should have been a sell. Can't do it. Travelers, got a sell. No, a buy, I got a buy on it. It did pop higher. We'll just stay with that. UNH, got a sell on it. We're good with that. UTX got to sell on it, but that's going to be a buy. That's a bull flag. That could be look for UTX to go higher. United Technology. I play racquetball with the guy that works there. I should tell him. Yeah. Anyway, Verizon or Visa. Visa got to buy on it. I'll stay with it. Verizon. Holy smokes! A big pop. So stay with your Verizon if you have it. WBA. Walgreens got to sell on it, but that could be a buy soon. Walmart. It's just in consolidation, a whole lot of nothing. Exxon, wow, gets a sell. Gets a sell. Okay, let's look at tech stocks. 
Grok Tech Stocks. We already looked at Apple. We already looked at some of these, but let's just go. AMD, got a sell on it. Amazon gets a sell. Amazon gets a sell. Uh, Ababa. Ooh, it gets a sell. See that one? Consolidation, I lost on it. See this? In at 180, out at 176. So uh, Baidu is going to get a sell. We're sell city across the board, guys. Almost. Almost across the board. Booking. It's a sell signal. This is price line dropping. Cisco. We're, I think we already looked at that one. Catfish. We got a buy, but it, now it goes to a sell. But this is a bull flag. This hurts me. This hurts me to put a sell on this because this could blow up on us to the upside. eBay. Up, up, up. But now eBay gets a sell. Facebook. I already have a sell, so I don't need to do a sell. Google. It's a sell. Come on. Take our profits there. So we're in at 11.42 out at 12.05. Same thing here. Google with an L. Gets that. GoPro. Uh, up, up, up. Doji at an extension. Let's go ahead and sell that. Microsoft. Oh, where already sold it. MU. Has to be a sell now. Has to be a sell. It was looking so good. So good. So we're in at 38 out at 41 and change. Netflix. Netflix. Breaking my heart. Has to be a sell. NVIDIA. I already have a sell on it. Oracle. I already have a sell on it. Um, PayPal. Gets a sell. Shopify is already sold, but that's a buy opportunity if the markets do go bullish. Snap. Uh, I'm going to have to sell it. Let's go ahead and sell it. Tesla. Had a buy on it. Oh, it is breaking my heart. But this is a falling wedge. This dude's going to get bullish soon, it looks like. But short term, there's the sell. Twitter was up. Look at that. Up, 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 and away. I see it pulling back on top of this trend line a bit. I'm going to stay with my buy on that. Okay. <clears throat> this is, no, it's not monologue time. You know what? If you guys, your crazy ones that are still on here after 30 minutes, you're insane. <laughs> and my coffee is still hot. That's good. Okay. And I'm dressed all casually. Uh, let's, I'm going to show you something. I did a couple of things. I changed that to green just to add some color up there. That's me. And I'll tell you guys, you don't know this. Oh, maybe I can show you. I did this. This is a white, <clears throat> a, uh, not a white, a window pane in my office. I'm going to show you this. Hold on a second. I can't believe I'm going this casual with you guys. Let's turn this dude around. Whoops, that's like too tight. Oh, I don't know. Can you guys see that? Those are my window panes. All right, now we're back. <laughs> what I did is I had Grot Girl, Keisha, shoot a video on one side of it, and I was doing charting on my window pane <laughs> and it zoomed in. So if I were to zoom out on this video, you would see <laughs> my window pane. <laughs> I just thought it looked cool. I see other people using glass to, to do uh, statistic stuff and charting stuff. I thought, man, I'll do stock chart stuff online. And I thought it looked cool. The other thing I did here was I added some detail on what these classes are. You heard me refer to the trend line class. And by the way, I have a big time money saving things. I'm, I'm knocking like 200 bucks off this class. For example, if you go to the trend line class, you click on it. There's a, um, there's a code here. Oh, right there. Do you see this trend? You do that knocks off 200 bucks 
It's only 97 bucks for this course, 200 bucks. So that's kind of cool, right? Market maker class, same way, knocks off 200 bucks. This one, just so you know, this is how to draw trend lines correctly so you can find those patterns that make you a lot of money. The more patterns you find, the more trade setups you'll put on. The more trade ups uh, that you put on, the more entries you make. The more entries you make, the more money you make. It's just a numbers game. Market maker class is something that I honed in on for oh, a good decade. So I trade with the market makers, not against them anymore. Have you ever been frustrated? Like they knew where my stop was, and they stopped me out and it takes off. Those days are over. And I did that here in the market maker class. But how to trade with the market makers to grow wealth. I think a, I don't need a comma there. See, I'm becoming a geek on writing and because of my grammar Nazi wife <laughs> who teaches. Anyway, <clears throat> hedging class. This is the markets do. Turn down, make money there. Safeguard your retirement. That's what all this is. Uh, scroll down. Uh, we do mentor. We're doing one this weekend. Uh, a, f a full class, packed class. Uh, and but there's a quiz here. This is not a scientific quiz. This quiz we've had over 2,500 students through our mentorship program. So we put together all of our findings from that. We put together this quiz to find out if you have the makeup to be what we consider. A, a grok star to be a grok star uh, to, to be at a grok star level and to have that opportunity to do this not everyone has the right makeup to be that that's what the um, quiz is there for day trading chat room is unbelievable those guys are having the time of their lives in there and that's for day traders in the US you gotta have over 25,000 in your you know bank account to do that Stock V newsletter. This is more for swing traders. If you just need a pick, it's like, hey man, um, I just need help with picks. <laughs> what should I be looking at? They're fundamentally very um, strong. Their um, 16 metrics are used to find out if they're strong enough for us to have. So, meaning if you're to buy them, just forget about them. At least you bought the strongest fundamental stocks you money could buy. <laughs> okay, you'd be in those. That's what that is. And you get um, new stock picks, you know, four or five of them each week that come your way and you can review them, find out if you like them or not. And But it's a monthly subscription. Um, we have some free classes, webinars. Um, this one's how to build wealth at trading. This one is how to win at day trading. This is a good one. A lot of people like this who are interested in day trading, how to find great trades. Um, so these, if I had to put them in order, if I was a day trader, definitely this one first. If I'm not, definitely this one. So um, those are free. And if you guys don't know this, we there's free uh, 101 courses you can take down here. And sign up. We'll email you every uh, a a new video on on what trading is all about. Very very basic. Very elementary. Very elementary. Uh, anything else that jumps out at me here? Chart school. If you don't know about the chart school, trading videos. Uh, but the chart school, you go there. This this is a big one. Like trading view. There's the link to the trading view that we use. And if you, they, they're keeping tallies of how many people use TradingView because of us. So definitely use my link if that's, if you plan on using that. I want them to show, I want to show TradingView that we have a lot of people watching us and using us. But the chart school gives you a lot of different things. But what's super cool, I'm going to show you this. Not, not everybody knows about this. <clears throat> and once you do, you will share it with everybody because it's just crazy. Down here in the indicators and oscillators, see this? Let's pick one. Let's pick um, the parabolic SAR, which happens to be one of my favorites. I'm going to click on that. You go here and you see what it looks like. There's the chart. There's these dots. That's the parabolic. SAR. And you can see here the definition, some background on it, and the practical use. But if you scroll down, you get a live chart on the spider. See this? And I can change that to whatever. I could go to Apple. See this? Apple. 
I just went to Apple and this is a live chart, not live, it's technically delayed. You can see that right there. It's delayed, but this is a parabolic SAR on this. So in other words, if the parabolic SAR is below, it is bullish. If it's above, it's bearish. So parabolic, uh, parabolic SAR is acting as resistance, it's bearish. If it's acting as support, your, your stock is bullish. Pretty cool, right? I mean, that's super cool. If you wanna go to like, um, I don't know, CCI, you can read all about it. Go down here and actually see what it's doing on the spider or, I mean, I'm looking at this now. Look how we're diving here on the CCI it, on the spider. So you can get a quick look, accumulation, distribution, go here. You, we're up, 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 but we're starting to take a dive here. You go back, let's do Bollinger Bands. See what's happening there on the Bollinger Bands and we're coiling I'm getting tighter, so and we drop down below the centered line. You can see that right there. But how cool is that? Real time, I can move this back and forth. Um, I can shrink it. This is what I love about this chart. It's you can do whatever you want with this thing. Double click the side here, and it puts it all back. So if I scrunch it down to nothing, and like I can't read it. If I go here and just double click this, it puts it right back. How cool is this? I mean, it's so awesome. It's just great, now, but it's so buried. In, and this is at Free Online Trading Education, by the way. This is at freeonlinetradingeducation.com. That's where we're at here. I own that site also. Rate of change, go here, see what the rate of change is. Whoops. Yeah, it's dropping. There's that center line. So this is an important little line here. Let's see what happens. So that's so that's so, some of our stuff. And if I could leave you guys with anything, <clears throat> it is uh, you want to be in our ecosystem. Uh, you want to be here in our ecosystem of Grok Trade. And the fastest, the best thing you can do, save your money on the books and webinars, seminars, save your money on, you know, our our stock picks, save your money on the chat room, save your money on all that stuff. Do, have us hold you by the hand and guide you through trading. That's that's why I even have a company. I, I'm an entrepreneur, I own several businesses. I'm all over the place, right? I've got stuff everywhere, I'm just built that way. I'm a helpless entrepreneur that has that loves to have my hand in business. There's no better business model, period, than trading, bar none. Every dollar is an employee. Those dollars have to be making us money, not losing us money. Furthermore, we have very little overhead. Our overhead is our computer and our internet access and our chart plat platform and our commissions for, through our broker. There's no overhead compared to uh, real estate, a conventional business, a brick and mortar business, or any other business you might have, there's no overhead to speak of. My employees, I can hire and fire anytime I want to, in and out anytime I want to. So when the risk is there, I can take, take them off the table, no risk. And I can put safety nets, stop losses under all my trades so I can, I can measure my losses, my risk, compared to my reward. That's brilliant. That's so secure. That's so um, securing, right? It's um, comforting. That's the word I'm looking for. And and then what's great is if the market tanks and drops, a conventional business will drop, real estate will drop, everything drops, gets soft. But the stock market, you can make money on the sell side going down with bare ETFs, inverse ETFs. And that's what I teach here in the hedging class. That's what that is. And so there, it's, there's no better business model. But I say all that to say, I, we don't do like, you know, if I had any brains at all, I would put together a product right now on my up arrows and my down arrows and say, anytime I do that, you'll get alerted. And a gazillion of you guys would purchase that. I, I, I could do that for, I don't know, 50 bucks a month, and everybody would do that. That doesn't serve you well, and that's not something I'm remotely interested in. I'm not about gimmicky stuff. That's not who we are. What we are, it's because of how I came to be who I am today. 
I went to all the seminars and read books and stuff, had a mentor, and mentor is what changed my life. And because of that, as I started developing, I said, man, I only want to offer one thing, a mentorship. Well, lo and behold, I got more things now. I've got a chat room for day traders, and I do do stock picks, which that's for our mentor students. Um, however, I offer it to the public. Uh, most of the public doesn't, they do not know how to properly um, wield the power of that sword until they, they've been properly trained. But they have the picks nonetheless. I mean, you could be a monkey throwing darts, pick those stocks, and if the markets are going up, you, you, your chances of having a winning stock are pretty good. <laughs> so outside of that, um, this is all for educational purposes only, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm just testing to find out how many. I'm just rattling. So I'm done. I, I just need to get out of here. It's, this is like a 40, 45-minute video. If you made it to the end, just put made it in the comments. Put made it. I made it. And hopefully I gave you enough. I gave you some nuggets to help you at the end to warrant you staying until the end. And my coffee's still hot. That is insane. Catch you guys later. We'll see you. Bye.